You know what I find pretty crazy? When most men are surveyed about what they think is the ideal male body, it tends to look like this. But when most women are surveyed about what they think is the most ideal male body, that's what it looks like. Now in my own experience coaching a lot of people, men and women, what I find is that most people just want to be toned. In other words, they want to be fit and look fit, but they want to do it in a healthy way so that they can actually just feel good day to day. Now this video is for you if you're wondering how can I get toned and fit and lean looking without getting big and muscular. What's up guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now the very first habit is calories. At the end of the day, look at the difference between me here and then me here. The only thing that changed was calories, the number of calories I was eating. The thing is, I've done the same workouts basically since I was 18. I'm 30 now, and I've been doing the same damn workout in the gym every week without fail. Nothing has changed. There's no such thing as muscle confusion. All of that is made up marketing. The fact is, the only thing that changed was that I started eating more. I mean, honestly, sometimes the only difference between the guy that has the Brad Pitt body and someone who looks like a bodybuilding freak is just the number of calories. They could even be doing the exact same workouts. I mean, look at the calorie loads of certain bodybuilders. Look at the numbers here. 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, or more calories per day. When you consider the average person as, what, 2,000, 2,500, that's a hell of a lot more calories than the average person eats. So you're not magically going to look like the Hulk, whether you're a male or female, by working out. It just doesn't work like that. You still have to be essentially overeating in order to get bigger than you already are. Now the second thing here is that it has literally nothing to do with cardio versus weights. So there's this idea that light weights will keep you toned or that cardio will keep you toned or cut or that heavy weights are going to get you this way. But it's just not true. For example, if you under eat the number of calories, so if you're eating less than your maintenance weight and you're training hard and lifting weights, you will not get big and bulky. It's impossible. Your body literally does not have the excess calories called the positive caloric balance required to build muscle, to be in an anabolic state. So going back to that, you could literally be doing the same workouts as a bodybuilder, but because you're not hammering down extra calories, you'd probably look muscular and lean, realistically. And like I said, in those before and after pictures for me, I didn't start doing cardio. I didn't before and I don't after. I don't do any cardio because I just don't like it. And I still look lean all the time and that's usually the result of the fact that I just don't eat a lot of calories to be a huge dude. Partly for me it's with digestive and health problems I've had for decades but it's also just I don't have a large appetite. Alright, so let's talk about your tiny daily habits for today. If you want to have a toned and more athletic looking body, more than a big and bulky looking body, it's really just two things. Number one, it literally has almost nothing to do with the workouts. All right, You know, a bodybuilder and a toned tight, fit looking person could literally be doing the same workouts, but one is consuming five times the number of calories than the other person. So they're seeing that humongous mass gain. Now the other person may be doing the same workout, but they're eating a normal calorie range or a slightly lower calorie range than they normally eat. So as a result, they're staying lean and they look cut, but they're not getting big. And the second thing is it's about the calories. So toning really comes down to just two things, which is body fat levels and muscle mass. So if you factor in those two things, body fat levels, so if you factor in having a relatively lower body fat level, which is all the stuff we've discussed here before, and having relatively higher muscle mass, I would recommend weight workouts personally for both men and women to get a really tight looking body, what most people want. If you factor in those two things, that's all you really need. Now, if you want to stay lean and stay toned, just don't bulk and binge eat. Don't add 500 or 1,000 calories a day to what you normally eat. And if you are lean already, if you have a, like a lean athletic body and you want to have more muscle mass, then you have to actually add calories. Your body needs that positive caloric balance. So honestly, on one level, toning versus being huge is really just a matter of calories. When you think of it like that, it's not so much rocket science. And the other things you do matter a lot less than you might think. You probably just want to be lean and athletic. And it's kind of interesting, those two little differences between what the men say they want or what they think is ideal and what the women say they want, what they think is ideal. And I think what's interesting is that both sexes, both genders, 
in general in themselves and also in their opposite partners, they just want someone who looks healthy and who looks fit. They don't necessarily want the biggest dude or the most ripped dude. They just want an athletic looking guy. And most guys just want an athletic looking girl at the end of the day. And so if you want to break that down, you could break it down into muscle mass and body fat and toning. But if you want, you can just keep it really simple. And at the end of the day, it really is dictated by calories because you could do the exact same workouts, but if you're having a normal calorie load versus 500 more per day, you're going to look like a very different person over the months and over the years. What's up guys? It's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to come to my site, grab that brand new seven day weight loss challenge to lose your next 20 pounds. And if you like this tiny daily habits approach, come check out my book called Master the Day. It's in the description there or on Amazon, and it's all about the little daily success habits I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later. Now, if you like the book, you like this philosophy, order it, send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, and I'll send you a free two-hour video course.